to be at your humblest self and you have to be very honest if you do not know something just tell it to them and they'll just move on to the next question they do not care they do not judge you they are there to interview and select you they are not there to reject you so people say that honesty is very important in the personality test what is your take on it so it is definitely very important i knew that if i am not going to be honest the board is going to catch me they are very well experienced very well knowledge they are very knowledge people who have a lot of experience in their life and profile so you cannot lie or bluff in front of them you have to be at your humblest self and you have to be very honest if you do not know something just tell it to them and they'll just move on to the next question they do not care they do not judge you they are there to interview and select you they are not there to reject you so if you present yourself really well they are definitely going to select you so coming to the last part of this session so when we start our preparation and because your preparation was a long drawn exercise you begin with a certain pen then we kind of fall in love with a pen ki ab is pen se we have to write the exam it almost becomes a soulmate until we discover a new pen so how was your pen journey like did you start with the same pen when you started or did you change during the prelims phase and the interview how was it like so i've used a uh, same pen since my 9th standard <laughs> trimax trimax yeah wonderful so how what do you think worked for it i mean this may sound silly to a lot of people but you know that uh, your writing appearance and everything presentation everything matters so what was a uh, good thing that you found with the pen so it is like because i was comfortable in writing it writing with trimax for a very long time and i could write in very i could write very speedily with it like i would see people who would leave long spaces i have a good handwriting as well so so they would leave a lot of spaces in their answers and then they would blink here and there so my approach was that once i sit on that table i'm going to start writing from the very first second and i'm going to leave writing at the last second when the bell rings so that was like i answered all the questions i completed my paper entirely on time and then uh, with the same pen i think i've almost finished 20 trimax refills <laughs> after the prelims result till my mains exam so these days students also make digital notes and some students prefer paper notes what sort of person are you sam both i use digital notes for lengthy subjects specifically the gs subjects because you need to keep on updating them it is very dynamic for the static portions i kept uh, written notes specifically the short notes which i made for the, my mains uh, mains i made them in a classmate notepad a 90 page notepad which is there so i would divide only like i would divide the page into half and then i would specifically put like four pages for disaster management 10 pages for security and i would write only the specific details which i definitely need to remember before the exam and i definitely need to write it in the exam so you would exclude things that you have internalized yes. you said one something very important that as we make further notes i made notes for the month then for the week revision and for that day's revision right and you said that the notes shrink yes. so technically you suggest are you suggesting that because we internalize a lot of things therefore you start to leave them in the notes yes. because it is necessary you have to reduce the number of pages because if they are bulky you will not feel like reading them and you will constantly feel okay i have so much to study i have so much to study because i only had one notepad to study i did not feel the burden of studying it and the same notepad i would study it for gs paper 2 gs paper 3 gs paper 4 and for gs paper 1 because there is a significant amount of static portion as well i had a separate notepad for that so for history and geography all right so this is something that i would want to tell all our students is that uh this is how probably notes should be made as as she said is like we have to have very minimal notes the number of pages is also a measure of our confidence if we have bulky notes then you are not going to be able to revise it at the last moment so our notes should be as crisp as possible wonderful yeah.